Hello everyone, this is Valhalla Gaming TV and this is the channel that plays everything so you don't have to. Today we are back with Amnesia Rebirth. This is going to be part 5 in the series. If you haven't seen the previous videos, on the top right of the screen, you can hit that button and you'll get to use the playlist so you can get all caught up. Alright, let's get back into it. Alright, we made it out of the cistern. See where we got to get next to? Oh, it looks like we got like a little waterfall. Creek. The baby okay? Hey, I'm not hearing a heartbeat. No, no, I'm sorry. Please, please be okay. That's not good. I'm sorry, my love. Just, uh, just let me know you're all right. Dude, I'm not hearing a heartbeat. That is not good. All right, I guess we're just going down here. Come on, baby. Make some noise. And that's going to be sad if that's the case. I guess we're going right. I hope I didn't hurt you. Well, you didn't take it easy. Hello, blue person. Who? Who are you? What do you want? I don't know if it's a good force or a bad force, but it did lead us down this out of the cistern. So hopefully it's a good one. A oh, little oasis. I don't know what that says. Surplus or something? Survive? S-U-P... What is that, an R? Surprise? I have no idea. It says words, okay? Words. Oh, it's blue over here. Baby, you there? You're okay, aren't you? It's not making noise, man. Just, just see I like how I'm all worried about it. It's in the game, okay? It's in the game. I know that was a rift to go through over there, I'm pretty sure. Let's look over here real quick. Christ almighty. Don't go near it. Tazi. Follow. Hope. Life. I think... I think she's trying to help us. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. My god. It's a fucking devil he's wanted us. The blue lady. So they thought it was a devil? Hopefully not. Let's see. Toggle tech. March, 1937. I am Tessie Trianon. I survived the crash of the plane Cassandra. With me are Hank Mitchell, Yasmin Shabani, Dr. Anton Metzier, Leon de Vries, and Malik Tambura. My husband, Salim, and others are in a cave near the crash, and need help. Some have died. Richard Fairchild could not handle what we saw here. He ran. Alex Sterling has gone after him. We can't wait. We must do something that is... utter insanity. Hank Mitchell, our leader and my friend, was badly wounded by a creature in the fort. Yasmin calls it a ghoul. A flesh-eating monster from desert legends. She may be right. Hank is losing blood fast. And he will die. There is no time to get to help. There is a shrine here. To a local spirit. This will sound like madness. She appeared to us. A figure of glowing light. She spoke to us. She offered healing and to save us from the desert. And I... I agreed. She led us to an amulet hidden here in the shrine. I took it. Now there is a... 
A shimmering doorway in the rock. I swear it wasn't there before. If we step through, Hank might survive. He is so pale. Oh, Selim, I don't know what else to do. This is crazy. But I promise, I promise, I will return to you. So she got the... This is insane. She got the amulet from that blue lady. Okay, let's go back over here and see if this opens up. I know the amulet's supposed to open these things up. I guess not. I guess this is close somehow. Where did she take us? I guess she's keeping it closed. Achievement. Trawler. Doctor, oh, it's so good to hear your voice. Ah, you're still... Well, where are you? The Oasis. Oh, we were here before. What happened to us? I just read uh, something I wrote. There's a spirit, a, a glowing spirit. I've seen her. I will explain it all, Tazi. Come to the village. We have lit a beacon in the tower. Look for the smoke. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Thank you. Doctor, you talked about my blackouts. I have these marks on my skin, and I keep losing control. You gave me a medicine. What's wrong with me? I, uh, I do not know for certain. We need diagnostic implements, reference books, civilization. Remember, Tassi, control yourself. Avoid fear. Avoid anger at all costs. I have to go. Yes, ma'am, she needs me. Doctor? Doctor! Shit! Okay, it said that I found a treasure under the water. But I never even went in the water. So is there something in here that I didn't... I was supposed to find? I got an achievement for it. What's this? Ooh. Okay, lady, you're only under there for like half a second. Calm down. Got more of it. Okay, maybe that was it. I'll take the extra oil. I ain't hating on that. All right, let's get to that village. The doctor doesn't want to tell me what's wrong with me. He says that I need civilization, but maybe he's saying... He probably knows something. But I think he's keeping it from her. Because he doesn't want her to, I don't know, freak out about it. Sometimes keeping things away until the people get back is a better option. I don't know. We shall see. As the story unfolds. Ooh. There's the beacon. There's the smoke. There's the baby. Please be there. Please. Man, it's not making noise. I don't even hear the heartbeat. Oh. Little one. A village. People. Away home. Paris. You love Paris. We'll go walking in the Luxembourg Gardens. I'll show you where Alice used to play. How are you gonna show be a baby okay, when it's in your belly? Please be okay. Is that a vulture? Uh, when we get to the village. Oh. We're in the sun. You can meet the doctor. And Yasmin. She's from Algeria. She's nice. And we'll figure out what's wrong with me. All will be well. What's over there? It's like a crash site. 
I'm kind of wary of those vultures. I've been playing Ark Ascended lately. And those things, hey, they're dangerous, okay? What is this? Well, that ambulance doesn't seem to be working. Got some totems. Looks like a crash site, but I can't tell what it is. It looks like there's metal, but metal and rock. Oh, it looks like a building was here. Yeah, it's like rebar. Oh, things are getting real again. We got a portal. So I don't know if I want to go through that portal yet. Let's look over here real quick. Oh. Okay, maybe not. Oh, what's going on? You gotta settle down, man. Oh, I made a mistake. Well, hopefully I woke the baby back up. Sound like I heard a heartbeat. Christ, we were so close. What the hell is this place now? No escaping. Little one. No, no sound. Do this on my own. Lady, you don't got a choice. Man, this is some alien technology. What? Okay, I think we gotta pull it. Yeah, we're back in the alien world. I'm still kind of confused on what's going on. Maybe this is a blue lady's lair. Oh. Oh, uh, the baby! The baby's making noise! I may not know where we are. It lives! But at least you're still with me. Awesome. I feel like I'm in one of those ruins in, uh, Skyrim. Got a bunch of... old technology. Or not old, but ancient. Or is it advanced? Into the door. Man, I'm getting these achievements like no tomorrow. Travel through the desert. Man, it's like we're in a spaceship or something. Is this this lady's place? It looks like her outfit or something. Anybody here? We got some green lights. Oh, that's a red one. I mean, I need a, like a key or something. Hey, look, that looks like a. Wait, is that a? I've seen that before somewhere. The woman from the oasis. Oh, we got stuff to read. Don't tell me she can read that. She, what the heck? She can. Under the sign of Ranu, on the fourth rise at the eighth calling, I, Atharu, make this record. As a Tamaku directs, I have compared the most ancient of our records of the Empress's Malady with the newly taken samples. Or is it Malady? Uh, in the earliest of samples, Tamaku was correct. The narrative flow to both organs of generivity uh, were intact a bit reduced and therefore they would have been functional before the spinal repair. However, since the influx of Vitae, the organs are now entirely withered. Why has the substance not reconstructed them? Did the degenerative m malady affect them permanently before the treatment began? I have asked whether I should prepare a report for the Empress, but Tamaku informs 
me that this is unnecessary. It is, of course, merely of alchemical interest and no matter for concern, for she is eternal in her name. Somebody be uh, worshipping this person. I guess I got Google Translate on this thing. Maybe not. Why is it just changing all different languages? I can understand the blue text, I think. Yeah. Under the sign of Ranu and the third rise, at the first calling, I, Atharu, make this record. I have completed the comparison of samples from the Empress and from the bones of her mother, blessed Atua. It is clear now that both carried the sickness, although it did not manifest in the forebears. While Vaite is powerful enough to rebind bone and sinew, without repeated application, the health again deteriorates. A single dose is no cure. It merely drives the decay back for a time. Tamaku uh, ordered that I test repeated application uh, quantities, insertion points, timings in her name. So people be doing some research here. What's this? Another? I don't think we can read these ones. Anything else? There's another one of those tablets, but it's a gold one. Can't read that. Yeah, it's like they were doing medical research here. And then this... Oh, it's like a light. It's pointing to something. Alright, let's follow it. Because this is red over there. I don't think I can open that. Let's test real quick. Click. Nope. Red means no. And then we gotta adjust the light. Okay. One of those kinds of things. We gotta get the light to hit it, probably. What is this? I find myself again confined. A day should not matter, but each day feels like waste. There is so much to do. Tamaku tells me that now, with Vitae, I have forever. But the people who depend on me do not. There is always something. Invasion, rivalry, sickness, penury. I have my duty. Perhaps I should end these sessions. Now they've found a way to stabilize the disease. I should be ecstatic. I should accept my fate and move on. It is such a faint hope that they can find any way to heal me. That they can find any way to grant my dearest wish. Now you are eternal, says Tamaku. Now you need no heir. None of them understand. This is not about politics or securing a future. This is not for the Empire. This is for me. Just for me. Selfish much? So that Vite or whatever it's called, uh, is like vitality, I would imagine. So it causes immortality. So this lady can live forever, and she probably wants to die. Uh, Elander Septark of the Enkindled Fortress has dispatched messengers to the Outer Isles under the guise of a trade mission. Despite our previous warning, it is my recommendation that we relocate three fists of the second regiment to the Isle immediately. On the matter of the harvest stock, it has been suggested that with the new chamber of development, the need for such stock will diminish. I believe that in short-sighted, this new capacity surely means that we are a liber at liberty to increase the number of factories. With that, we can vastly increase our defense uh, capability as well as increase standards of living across the empire. This new expertise is a gift. We would be wise to make use of it. Instruct me, great empress, and I will inform the council of your decision in your name eternal. So I guess if you get to live forever at you and everybody else dies around you, it probably makes you into a god of some sort. At least that's how people will view you. This must be her bed. I imagine she's suffering because all she sees is people around her dying. Once you live forever, the people you care about don't last, so it's like, well, don't really want to live no more. Guess she's got to keep herself busy, okay? Got a bunch of these yellow tablets, but we can't read them. Alright, let's see what we gotta do with this light. Oh, 
Okay. Let's rotate it. That didn't work. Where do we gotta put it? I guess I just gotta keep it in the air. Where can I mount this thing? Every time I try to put it down. All right, you stay right up here. There you go. That'll work. Nailed it. All right, we're going in. I hear stuff. If this person's eternal, she's here somewhere. Oh, we got puzzles. Oh, yeah, we got puzzles, all right. We got to find the symbols. Looks like those in front of us. Okay. Uh, let's just say backwards J and a UM. Backwards J, UM. Um, backwards J. It's okay. We got to go up one. That one. We hit this. I have no idea what's going on. Looks cool though. Do you grab one of these? Oh, this is broken. We need a replacement. That doesn't seem to go on anything. Okay, let's leave that there for now. I came... I came through that area. Okay, so this is different. Oh, that looks like another opening. Another rift. That could be our way out. It could be, or it could lead us to more alien stuff. This must be where we need to take it. Can't read that. All right, let's see what this one says. Uh, under the sign of Idu, on the first rise at the eighth calling, Aikida make this record. The configuration of the new test gate has been delayed by a failure in a subsidiary node. Mahara, um, you must complete it on the next rise as you have been prepared. Place the orb in the center, select the focusing symbols for the alignment, and insert two fuel cells, or full cells of Vitae. Remember Tamaku's lesson. Mahara, master the of okay, master the orb. It is your focus and discipline that will open the portal and allow objects to be sent through. Okay, so we need to put this bad boy on the top, I would imagine. This is the orb. Yeah, that that worked. Is that even an orb? Alright, let's, let's set that there for now. I said we needed fuel cells. Oh, that's the orb. Ah. It feels like... Like... It's waking up. <sighs> it can't wake up without fuel cells, lady. Here's these things again. Is this a fuel cell? I think it was connected to something over here. Okay, I'll just leave that there. Anything else in here? Got any fuel cells? What do those things even look like? Yeah, I don't think we had one. Let's go put the orb in real quick. Um, there we go. Go to the inventory. Take out. Place. Oh, things are getting real. Hey, it closed me off. What the heck? It's getting too real. Now what? 
Hit the button. Oh, wow. Look at that. We don't have any fuel cells. We gotta find these fuel cells. That seems to be working, but now we can't get through. Okay, I think we gotta shut that off somehow. Okay. Raise the gate. Does it turn off? Oh man, I think we're stuck in here. Did I mess up? There it goes. Okay. We gotta find these fuel cells, and I think I gotta grab this and bring it to open that door over there. Open the door. Got places to be. Oh, there's something down below. Hmm. Okay, that works. Let's open this door. What is going on out here? That's what I asked. Oh, there's something. Oh, there's a person. What is that? That looks like one of the power cores. Is that another one? Oh, it's not going to be as simple as taking it. Oh, is that alive? What in the business? Okay, if I grab that, it's going to be okay, right? There was a white sun at the great gate. It tore the air and the land. A corruption of living flesh crawls from the hole in the world and turns all to ash and rust. The control stones have turned against my kindred, shaping them into floating wraiths of nightmare. The city falls. I am to blame. My companions took my formula, some to use it to destroy the Vitae at the gate, others to infect the Vitae pipelines and end the suffering. The gate has indeed fallen, but catastrophically, unleashing energies beyond belief. Still the factories scream. We have failed in the worst of ways. It is my duty to stay at my post, to see if I can find means to end it I have no choice but to use the Vitae. An ocean holds the great empress to life, so a meager portion will suffice for me. If any find this record, know that I was the traitor Kita. Alchemist, apprentice to Tamaku. Forgive us our folly. Traitor, huh? Maybe corrupting the life force. I don't want to undo that, man. I think that this uh, creature's gonna come moving around and come at me. And this is definitely one of the power sources right here. What's going on in here? Eee. I guess read a little bit more of this stuff. Can't read none of that. Where's the blue tablets? My eyes understand that. Oh, what's this? Tamaku's early experiments with the orbs summoned an entity, a creature, that scarred the world with its passing and wreaked utter destruction. The scar took the form of living, pulsating flesh. I have studied the orb, and I now know why the scars appear. I believe I can make use of the same perturbation to achieve our own ends. Perturbation. I've never heard of that word. Yeah, that just falls apart. The reason why I'm grabbing, grabbing all these tablets with the gold lettering is I'm hoping that like, if there is an achievement of some sort for grabbing everything, I'll get it. So that's why I'm doing that. Let's see what this says. me many, many rises in the gaps between my work for Tamako, but finally it is done. 
I have a formula which is in sympathy with the pulse of the orb. I can provoke the symptoms of the red flesh, and with it will come destruction, channeled through the Vitae network. This might be the answer we seek. The answer we seek? Oh, look at they got little aquariums. All right, let's grab this thing and see what happens. Moment of truth. Oh. Power shut off. Um, I don't know if I should do this, but I'm going to. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Right, Lara Craft? Oh yeah, there's the other one I need. Grab it. Let's go. This thing's coming. Oh, it's coming. Oh. Yeah, okay, I'm just leaving. Nope. No, no, no. Let's uh, shut this door right here. Bring this over here. Creepy place. How do we get this door open? The window? Doesn't look like it. Let's just leave it right there for now. Let's go around and get this thing started. Hopefully that door stays locked. Make sure we got a little bit of oil on the bad boy. Refill lantern. There we go. Okay. We put the orb on here. Uh, but first we gotta put the fuel in. So grab the laden jar. Oop, wrong button. Alright. And grab this one. Alright, we're in. That looks like a button right there. So, let's put the orb in here again. It's gonna shut us in. It's gonna shut it all down. Ooh. It's getting crazy. Alright, hit the button. Okay, are we in the right one? I think so. And hit this button. Oh, it teleported. Oh, I see what we need to do. I need to go get that thing again. Yeah, and it needs to teleport it over there to open it. Okay. Turn this thing up. We ain't ready for this. Can I pull it? There it goes. Okay, I know what we gotta do now. I have found the way. I gotta go grab that little uh, thing that reflects the light, put it on here, and I'll teleport over there, and it should open that other door. Ooh, the sounds around here are kind of creepy. I keep thinking something's gonna be out here. Alright, let's grab this thing. We gotta get you teleported. Don't open that door! Ooh. Creepy. Alright, this is where you go. Can I just teleport you now? Nope, okay, I gotta start it with the orb. Put it back on. Let's get this thing going. And then I should be able to turn it off and that should be in there. Teleport. Oh yeah. I did it. I'm gonna shut this down and take the orb. Oh. Smoke. That's the tomb. That's where we gotta doctor. go. But how can that be? I'm not even trying to understand this. I'm just trying to get out of here. Oh yeah. Something's coming. Run for your cheeks, man. Oh god. Let's go. And we're through. Got to get out of here. I don't even know where we are. We made it. Where are we? We're like in a dream world or something now. Oh 
Okay. Yep, definitely a dream world. It's nothing weird about this. It's all normal stuff. It's cool. Uh, hi. How am I supposed to get over there? I'm working my way over. Is that supposed to be the baby that's in me? No, is that her previous daughter? Hello, little one. <laughs> Got the monkey. What are you doing, little one? One and one. <laughs> yes, but what is one and one? That's two, bro. I'm way smarter than this kid. What the heck's going on? Oh, the baby. That's a big baby. Looks like it's growing. Hey everyone, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. On the bottom of the screen, if you like, comment, share, subscribe, you can support the channel. Also, check out the videos above. That'll take you to more content from Valhalla Gaming TV. Thanks again. Later.